though our time is fast spent, but somebody must receive something tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. What are the rewards of fellowship with the Holy Spirit? I'll give you just three of them. Number one, the reward, the child, the proceed of that intercourse between you and the Spirit. The same way when a man meets his wife, something leaves that man to his wife. And over time, a child is born. That child is the consummation of their oneness. Is that true? When you stay with the Holy Spirit, when koinonia is at work in your life, certain things must happen. Number one, authentic spiritual power. Authentic spiritual power. I said authentic because there are all kinds of things. All kinds of things right now. Authentic spiritual power. Authentic spiritual power. The anointing for miracles. The anointing for signs and wonders. They are a product of intimacy. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. If you've been called into the apostolic ministry or prophetic ministry or teaching or pastoral, any of the fivefold ministry, you need the anointing for supernatural miracles, signs, and wonders. Men can forget what you say, but they will never forget the impact of your meeting upon their lives. Many pastors are struggling. They keep speaking, but there is no grace. There is no anointing. There is no authentic anointing. I'm not talking about laying hands on people that your words they do something to the physical bodies of those listening they do something to their minds the words do something the bible says and the lord walking with them confirming the words he said the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me he has smeared me with oil where did that happen in the in the secret place while i was fellowshipping with the holy ghost a deposit of his ability rubbed off on me and i come out of the secret place with that ability the bible says the spirit drove jesus to the wilderness and he was there he was there for how long now 40 days and at the end of it the bible says he returned with the in the power of the spirit he returned in the power of the spirit he returned in the power of the spirit you want to see authentic power you want to see the anointing of the spirit brothers and sisters i believe in impartation from men of god but the holy spirit is the greatest custodian of the anointing you stay with him you have the anointing without measure dimensions of his anointing comes upon your life brothers and sisters listen it has nothing i don't care how weak you are right now if you stay with the holy ghost man woman boy girl including the little ones you will contact something that is tangible the world may criticize you but they cannot deny what is at work in your life you are the power in me you are the fire at work when you see mighty works there is an anointing you are my ever-present helper holy spirit ah, yeah. And he anoints you so an ordinary man brothers and sisters an ordinary timid joshua selman when his anointing comes upon you look at samson he was a man who was weak but when the anointing came upon him he did mighty things and men will look at you they will see small you but there is big jesus there is big holy spirit so men will invite you for meetings thousands of people and when you walk through and see those wheelchairs and those blind eyes you know that it's not just about talking nonsense it's either it is there or not and you stretch your hands and you speak and say in the name of the lord jesus blind eyes open and you are hearing people shouting i can see and you are flattered yourself because you know that you are not the custodian of this this is what happens in koinonia he blesses us with his presence and so we can command devils to go and they must leave and we can command sicknesses to go and we can speak to blood conditions and change them and we can speak to situations and alter destinies a dear lady of ours wrote her exams 
and her wayek and, and when the results came out you know she was so excited sent me a text yesterday i met with her briefly today and this lady just nailed it on point i mean i looked i said goodness this is great the holy ghost can take a weak person mary says how shall these things be oh lord how will i have an international ministry as weak as i am how can this guitar produce an international ministry oh lord is it true that one day i will stand before the nations and god is saying do not underestimate the power of the anointing upon the life of a man they will pay you they will lodge you in hotels and you are there wondering oh god no there is this treasure you are an earthen vessel but there is a treasure the only way to take advantage of it is to carry you along because it's in you same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me oh i'm anointed say i'm anointed your love that rescued the earth lives in me listen brothers and sisters it's on the strength of the secret place that we can tell you you will never go back the same you see that that is what is responsible many of you came here probably for the first time you just said let's come and see what happened and you came and you encountered the anointing of the spirit if you are a preacher in this place stop doing ministry without the anointing you're going to fight everybody around you because of anger you will hate everybody around you because of competition and intimidation many preachers are angry with anointed people today because they they are unwilling to subscribe to the terms of authentic power it happens once in a while it just happens by magic and then when they see this happen in the lives of people especially when the person is a young man because it's not an issue of age whoever can pay that price the power that truly brings revival and transformation brothers and sisters is one thing to gather people but it's another thing for their lives to be changed there are many churches that the lives of the members are not being changed can i tell you the truth i know that crowd is not an ultimate basis to measure growth and impact but let me tell you sincerely when people are being changed they will come again and again and camp there that this guy was an armed robber he was a bad person an occultist all of a sudden he comes to koinonia for three or four weeks there are so many people especially many of the leaders and the workers today by the grace of god i know how these people were when they came some of them were cultists some of them were all sorts of people but the power of the spirit as a minister when people come to your congregation you don't screen them and throw the bad ones there are no bad eggs in the house of god because his anointing can change any man so a man comes who is stubborn they say we have tried and tried and he said no not when the authentic power of god comes you can handle any congregation as a pastor they can post you anywhere and it does not matter they post you to a church of 10 members in one year is an avalanche because of the anointing he said it shall come to pass isaiah 10 27 he says the burden shall be taken from off your neck and the yoke from your shoulders and it shall be destroyed not because you went to school not because you can speak english because of the anointing there's too much talk in the body of christ because there is no anointing charles and francis hunter of blessed memory wrote a book they said that one miracle is worth a thousand words how true authentic anointing Acts chapter 19, 11 and 12, the Bible says, and God wrought special miracles. God wrought special miracles. Not just ordinary miracles. Brothers and sisters, if you walk in extraordinary miracles, the only thing you will go through that is bad is criticism. But the hand of God is like a signature and you write upon the lives of men, he is alive. That's why we will continue doing what we are doing. 
that's why anyone who comes here will truly be blessed and we say it with absolute certainty not on the strength of ourselves the bible says we are not sufficient in ourselves our sufficiency is of god who has made us able ministers of the new testament not of the letters because the letter kills but the spirit gives life Number two, the second reward of koinonia is multiplied grace. Multiplied grace. Multiplied grace. What does multiplied grace bring in your life? Ease of operation. Write it down. I know many struggling ministers. They are doing well, but you know that this, this, they are doing ministry as if it's a, it's a cross to kill them. No, sir. No, sir. Jesus said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light if that yoke is killing you then it's not from god hallelujah ease of operation in your ministry ease of operation in your job there are many people who struggle just for little promotion you have to struggle and bribe and pass no 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 when there is multiplied grace the bible says great grace was upon them great grace Acts chapter 4 verse 31 to 33 when they prayed the building shook and the Bible says they were filled with the Holy Ghost hallelujah okay so just write it we may not run go there because of time our time is up number three the last one and this is the most important I want you to carry tonight is that the products the benefits the reward of your intimacy with the Holy Spirit is the release of your gifts your talents and your abilities please never forget this this applies to every one of us now it's one thing to be gifted but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed you can be gifted and it can be killing you but when your gift is anointed ha! Huh? your gifts and abilities become anointed what does it mean to be anointed it means it is activated and empowered to produce supernatural results so your singing ministry you have great gifts but when he anoints that gift all of a sudden your keyboard that you are playing suddenly you see wheelchairs standing up just because mike is playing that's a gift that has been anointed someone will come up here and just be reciting a poem or be dancing you may belong to a rap group or a dancing ministry and you are dancing and sick bodies are healed that's an ability that has been anointed many of us are gifted and we've spoken about gifts but many of us our gifts are not anointed this is my beloved son he has always been there but now whom i am well pleased hear ye him listen stop trying to draw talents or draw resources forget about those things concentrate on the presence of god when your gifts are anointed people will come when they come they'll come together with their own gifts and their own anointings listen i never for once by the grace of god almighty look at all the brilliant people let me tell you i believe that this ministry has one of the best excellent and most effective workforce and i say this sincerely from the depth of my heart hallelujah from the ushers the worship team there is excellence at our level the prayer department men who are committed you think they are just i never how would i have known them are you getting my point i did not need to worry when you stay in the secret place and your gift becomes anointed distant shores and the islands will see your life as it right 